Maybe you've been asking yourself, does Thrive Leads work with the GetResponse email marketing system? And the answer is yes, it does. And here is a tutorial to show you exactly how to set it up. In your WordPress admin dashboard, go to your Thrive options and choose the API connection menu item right here, and then add a connection from the dropdown, select get response. As you can see, we need an API key and to get it, you need to log into your get response account. From your dashboard, go to the my account dropdown and go to integrations. Then in this view, you can see this menu item, get response API, and that's the one you wanna click. And here you will see this API key. And you can just click on this button here to copy it to your clipboard, so we do that. Go back to the Thrive Leads options and paste the key in here and connect to get response. After a few seconds, you should see this success message right here. And when you go to the active connections, you will see get response added to the list. Now, when you're in the editor of a Thrive Leads form, click on the opt-in element and then click on the connect with service option. Create a new connection, select the API and go to the next step. From this dropdown, select get response. And once that's done, you will see a list of all of your get response campaigns. So you can select whichever campaign you wanna add new leads to. And if you wanna add new campaigns to this list, you have to do so in your GetResponse account. So you select the list you want from this dropdown and you click on save. This screen lets you determine which fields will show up. And you, can, you have to have an email field, but you can have an optional name field and you can also have an optional phone number field. And you have all your usual options here. So you can change the labels of the fields, you can have validations, you can add icons and so on. An important option is here. If the form is submitted, you can choose to either reload the current page that wherever, you know, wherever the form is on or redirect to a custom thank you page URL. So here's where you can determine which page your new leads should see after they sign up. So once you've done that, you click on save and then you can click on save changes in your editor. And once that's done, this form is now connected to your GetResponse account. Make sure to test this process, sign up with a test email to make sure that connection works and the email is added where you want it to be added in GetResponse.